I find that I do my best thinking whilst I'm sitting on the floor. And in fact, today I wanted to share with you a theory that I've uh, I've had over the uh, the years through just my many observations of watching men uh, go out and practice their cold approaching skills and just also really develop their confidence as well. And this this theory is going to be just a work in progress. So certainly don't take it uh, as gospel. But I have this theory about why there are some men who are better than other men when it comes to meeting women. And don't get me wrong, I think on the surface, certainly environment can play a huge factor here. But I think going to a more cognitive level, I think there's something to be said in the difference between uh, a guy who is very logical and a guy who's very instinctual. So what, what do I mean by, first of all, logical and instinctual? So I think uh, guys who are very logical, um, they tend to, uh, as per the title, you know, they, they think about things a lot. They tend to future predict. They worry about, you know, if they take a particular action, what the particular outcomes would be. You know, they're very rational. They'll, they'll think about a lot of things. So this logical behavior tends to be ingrained in their life and they will act in a particular way. And these are then usually the guys who have struggled the most with uh, with women because they are just overthinking every action that they could take. So because they might see a girl that they like and they think, oh, I, I should go over and talk to her. Oh, I really like her, but will she like me? Uh, then they'll start thinking like, well, what happens if I get rejected when I go and talk to her? What will other people think around me as I'm doing it? And, you know, their, their brain just starts spiraling out of control and they will essentially just psych themselves out from doing anything. And unfortunately then that's where, um, I, I guess the limiting beliefs will kick in. They'll, they'll then start creating whatever kind Kind of behaviors that keep them in line and um uh and then yeah they just don't end up having uh, as great of a date in life as they should just because of these restrictions that they have put on themselves now on the other side of that the instinctual behavioral men these are the guys who don't tend to think about things and they literally just go on action so they're not thinking about well if i take this risk what kind of reaction will i get for them it's more of a well if i'm living in the moment if i take this risk i will just behave accordingly to whatever reaction i get from that so those kind of guys then will be more of the risk takers. They'll be the ones that will take action and they will figure out and learn from the result or reaction that they get from taking action. So hopefully you're with me so far. So you've got the logical behavior, the, the guys who just tend to overthink, over predict things, which tends to then put them off from taking action. And then you've got the guys on the opposite side of that who are very instinctual. They don't think about things. Maybe they've got more of that sort of like barbaric, I don't know if maybe barbaric's the right word, but they've got more of that simplistic behavior in mind where they don't overthink about things. They just take action and then they react and learn accordingly from the actions that they take. Now, I think what is certainly interesting for me, and, and this is more on the observation side of what I've seen from uh, the, the dating industry, is that you can actually move from one to the other. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's only a one-way system. So definitely you can have a guy who is very logical and you can train him to be instinctual. But also you can actually train a guy who's very instinctual to be very logical. So let's just kind of like, let, um, let's let's sort of like break them uh, down. So maybe then it's, uh, uh, it, it makes even more sense um, for how the, the concept works. So 
uh, as per typical with the dating industry, you know, most men who come into it, they struggle with women. Uh, as I've jokingly said to people, you know, uh, struggling or having problems being able to meet and date and attract women is kind of like your uh, your VIP pass into um, uh, into the club, into that membership. You know, I don't think I've ever met a guy who uh, doesn't struggle with women who has found the necessity to have to join uh, a dating community or go to a dating coach for help. It's just, it, it's, it's unheard of. If a guy's good with dating, he just gets on with it. If a guy's struggling with dating, he goes for help and he seeks guidance. So you've then got your typical guy who is very logical. He has all these logical behavioral traits and he just can't date women because for whatever reason, again, he's either overthinking stuff, he doesn't take the risks, he psychs himself out. Through a lot of then desensitization and putting himself in the deep end of actually experiencing talking to women. So again, this is like the typical thing that you would find for, uh, for dating companies or just in the dating community that men would go out and they will practice talking to women that then they, uh, I think it was actually quoted in, in Neil Strauss's book, The Game actually, but the idea then that you are unlearning the behaviors that you were trained to have throughout your life and you are replacing them with the, uh, the true uh, reality type traits that you need. So these would be more developing your, uh, your social intelligence and your social skills and even your conversational skills. But just that evolution through practicing talking to people and developing your confidence, you then find that you are thinking uh, logically less or you're thinking about all these limiting beliefs less. And, um, and then you turn more into this instinctual man. You're then, again, moving away from overthinking to just living in the moment, being present and learning and reacting to the actions that you're taking. So again, I'm, I'm going to keep just emphasizing this stuff. Um, so that's where then you can actually get a guy who is uh, very shy, who isn't very confident, and he can become confident. He overwrites whatever beliefs he had about himself beforehand, and then he becomes a version that is really great at women. And I do genuinely believe every guy who isn't confident with women can certainly be confident with women, but you have to change your attitude to women. I'm not going to use mindset here. I'm going to say attitude. You have to change your attitude to meeting women. And you certainly do have to change your environment. You know, if you're constantly staying indoors and you're not being putting yourself in situations that need you to be sociable, then it's going to be very difficult for you to develop that skill. So you have to put yourself in those situations. Um, but Again, that's it's not a one-way system. It's not that you can then just have a guy who isn't confident and then he becomes confident. Um, it, it can go the other way around. And that's not saying that then you've got a confident guy becoming not so confident. We're talking about a guy who's very instinctual, who maybe is just very used to having short-term relationships and having flings of sorts, and maybe he does want to have something more long-term, then he has to start considering his future, the actions that he's taking, you know, the behavioral traits that he's got. He has to think, is this what's going to get me a long-term relationship? And again, I, and I've said it in other videos as well, but you know, one, in fact, I think in my video where I spoke about the, um, the cycle of guys who enter the, uh, the dating community or the day game industry and so on, that the guys who just tend to, um, uh, stay, uh, in that particular phase where they're just um, constantly meeting women, they're constantly having short-term flings, but they are still stuck in this childlike, uh, horny teenager sort of trait. They don't evolve to that final part of the cycle where they do just tend to grow up and they realize that, you know what, 
Um, I can't be just having short term flings forever. It might be for some people, but most men that I do know, most men that I've met, they want relationships and they just aren't taught that at some point you have to kind of let go of this idea of constantly wanting to date more women because you're going to want someone and they're going to want someone who is going to just form that bond with them, that long-term friendship, and isn't going to be looking to try and sleep around with other people because that's that would be where, you know, there is that sex addiction and also where people tend to have affairs as well. So at some point, they have to kind of move from the short-term thinking into long-term thinking. And that would be where you can then train a guy who maybe just constantly has fun, but he does feel like that he's not really settling down, that no one wants him for more than just a night that he needs to learn to actually think about his future, think about his actions. And that is where then you can turn an instinctual man into a logical man. But he then has those confident traits. He has those social skills to be able to take him into a relationship. So hopefully this concept does make sense. As I say, it's a work in progress. Um, I won't give it like the, you know, um, uh, kind of like a, a psychology title yet, you know, like the, the, the Colbert theory of attraction or something like that. Um, but I, I do though think that there is um, something in that ideology that, yeah, you don't have to stay as who you are. Um, whether you are a confident man who is constantly having lots of short-term flings, but he does want to have a long-term relationship, he does want to find someone to settle down with and have kids um, uh, with, then, um, then yeah, you've got that ability to move from being very instinctual to living in the moment to actually thinking about planning for a future. And then also you've got the guys who are very logical, who do perhaps struggle with women and uh, they want to develop their confidence. They want to develop their social skills. They want to lose all those limiting beliefs. Then they can challenge that and move into becoming uh, a very instinctual man or having very instinctual behaviors behaviors by uh, desensitizing themselves and throwing themselves into those social situations. So I'd love to actually hear your thoughts on this theory. And maybe you've uh, got some contributions to, to add to it. I mean, absolutely. I'm, I'm open to, to hearing other um, ideologies in this. Um, but as I say, this is this is something really that's that's come about through observations from the dating coaches that I've watched who have gone from being shy to very confident and then seeing them go through uh, many struggles where actually they do want to eventually have a long-term relationship, but they've not been able to transition into that. Um, and then what kind of help they've needed for it. But also definitely I have seen a lot of the very logical kind of behaviors move into the very instinctual like behaviors. And, you know, I think when it comes to anything uh, uh, with, uh, with psychology, I think it's just great to be able to be treating it a bit like a scientist and, you know, doing experiments, coming up with theories and just, if anything, just trying to uncomplicate the industry uh, for so long, I think so many dating coaches just keep adding more theories and ideologies and and titles and terminology and, and all of this to something that was once upon a time just very simple. And I think it's now just been sort of oversaturated with way too many complicated ideas. And I think it does actually cause guys to become more logical thinking because of just, they have to memorize this idea and that idea and that. And I think it really just needs to be simplified. And if I can do that with, through my own theories, just to uncomplicate the industry and remove the terminology that has been ingrained there over the last couple of decades, um, part, I think maybe my fault because of just what I've done with dating coaches, but if I can just simplify stuff, make things less complicated and just show guys, you know what? It could literally just be as simple as if you see someone that you like, just go over and say hello. 
and and see what happens. Just, you know, don't overthink about it. Don't think, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? What happens if I'm rejected? What will other people think around me? Forget about that. People are living in their own bubbles. They don't really care. But point being is uh, I, I want to simplify everything. And I love the idea of being a scientist and um and and testing theories and just trying to make things more digestible for people so like the video subscribe to the channel especially if you want to hear more rambly theories from me and uh certainly look forward to more videos from me in the future and if you can try and keep your anxiety at bay